What happens if Yellowstone erupts tomorrow? No warning, no chance to evacuate. Just a deep rumble beneath the earth, and then the sky turns black. A thousand cubic kilometers of ash, magma, and gas explode into the air. That's enough to bury entire cities. Everything within 100 miles obliterated. Scorched by pyroclastic fire, buried under meters of ash. Tens of thousands gone in minutes. Then the ash begins to spread. Jet streams carry it across the continent. Denver, Chicago, even New York, covered in inches or feet of fine volcanic dust. Air travel shuts down for weeks. Engines clog, transformers explode, power grids fail, crops die, water turns toxic. And this is only the beginning. In the stratosphere, sulfur dioxide spreads like a veil. It reflects sunlight and earth begins to cool. Temperatures drop by five degrees Celsius or more. A volcanic winter settles in. Growing seasons shrink, harvests fail. Famine spreads first to the poorest regions then everywhere. Millions starve, economies collapse, mass migrations begin, borders close, and wars erupt over food, water, and survival. Ecosystems crash, species vanish, ocean currents shift, even Earth's climate systems begin to break. Human civilization is overwhelmed. The cost? Trillions in damages, decades of recovery, if we're lucky. Could it happen? The last Yellowstone super eruption was 640,000 years ago. Statistically, there's a 1 in 730,000 chance it erupts this year. Low odds, but not zero. The USGS watches closely. So far, no signs. But the clock is still ticking. Would we survive the day the Earth fights back? Subscribe and face the next impossible question with us.